Hello everyone, <clears throat> Luca Blight here, and I just wanted to make this quick video before I take care of some errands that I have to do today. Um, I wanted to do this with XSplit, which I'm kind of using XSplit, but uh, it was not cooperating, so here I am kind of improvising. So, for those of you that don't know about the whole Keaton Jones situation, to quickly summarize what's going on, hold on a second. Da, 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 da. Make sure something's right here and it is okay good i was like i don't want to restart this video because I, I have very limited time but um for those of you that don't know what's going on with the whole keaton jones situation essentially this mother uploaded a video of her son getting or uh talking about how he's been bullied in school and all this other stuff that went viral everybody and their mother no pun intended knew about it well then some claims came out that he might be racist the mother might be racist because of some photos she posted back in 2015 around July of her and her kids holding like Confederate flags and stuff like that. And people assumed, oh, they must be racist, which it, it, it's a unsubstantiated claim because if you look at the context of the Confederate flag, it's not necessarily a racist symbol. Some see it as such, and for good reason to see it as such because it was part of the Confederacy for about a year until the uh, KKK took the flag and said, this is our banner now. And so it, it's got some stigmatism to it, and for good reason. That stigmatism exists for a reason. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that the mother and her kids have racist views, because, again, context matters. They were symbolizing as more of a, uh, a uh, Southern pride type thing, because if you think about when they posted it, it being July, it's obviously a patriotic type thing. There's Southern pride. And if you're not from the South and seeing the Southern flag in a racist light instead of a Southern pride light, I can kind of understand that because you have a limited experience with the flag. Unlike me, I live in the South. I see the Southern flag all over the damn, pl or the Confederate flag all over the damn place. And not everybody that holds that flag or that uses that flag that flies it at their homes or whatever is racist. I've known plenty of people that fly that flag and have Southern pride. They're not racist at all, but people still look more at the stigmatism of that flag and what it symbolized back in the civil war. And when it came to the KKK and all that stuff. So, you know, you got you got to insert more worldviews than just your own when it comes to the Confederate flag. So I've got a couple articles that I pulled up here, so one of which involves the father of Keaton Jones, which I'll get into here shortly. But uh, the school district responds to the claims about him being bullied. I'm surprised I have before. Where did I, where did that part go? This is from. Okay, yeah, this is the school district responding. Where is that? I probably should have just highlighted it, put it in like a text file or something. We don't tolerate bullying with any incident. Oh, here we go. Da, 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 said that bullying issue with Keaton Jones was resolved last week. Emily Jones sent an original Facebook post that she'd picked her summer from school early after afraid they were go to, afraid to go to church. I'm just skimming through this because I'm trying to find the part. Oh, they keep going on about how the celebrities, which yeah, a lot of celebrities like came out to this guy's uh this guy's support. A woman who identified herself as Keaton Jones' sister did not respond to the question. Come on, uh -huh. responds to allegation made that her and her mother posted racist sentiments in the past. My mother's not in any way a racist. I can assure you of that. She's a strong Southern woman. Uh, where is the fart? Others try to cash in. Yeah, is that her? No. Other parents weigh in on bullying. I'm sorry, I. Well, maybe they don't have, or maybe I missed it. Let's see, for instance, there we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, it wasn't said he wasn't aware of Jones's being repeated bullying that the incident screen of the video had been resolved weeks ago. It's not as rapid as the video would may, would have you believe. They like said, I can't tell you what was done, but I can tell you action was taken with the children. So there is an, at least one incident of him being picked on by somebody. Okay, so that, I guess that was it. I thought there was more to it than that, but I guess I was wrong. So... There is evidence that there was an incident, however, how commonplace that incident is, is what is in question. And that's what I'm trying to establish here, folks. Is I'm not taking one side or the other. I'm saying we need to question everything. We hear it. We can't just believe it because somebody said something on the Internet. And when it comes to bullying, you, asking for evidence of being bullied is a bit, a bit much because you should just take into consideration, like, how this kid looked in the video. It looked like um, he was genuine in his words. However, some have said that maybe the mother kind of fabricated the story. And uh, Tommy, C uh, Tommy sees S straight from the point. I don't know why I keep tripping over the dang um, acronym that he asked for. But he, even he was kind of like, it seems like the mother might have been making this up. Like she was kind of leading him along. And I could see that too. 
Uh, let's see. And then here we go with uh, Keaton Jones, the strange fathers, the jail white supremacist. Um, and this isn't an invalid claim because he's got, yeah, he's got posts like this and stuff like that. So to say that he's a, a white supremacist, pretty accurate claim. I would say it's a pretty accurate claim. And he's been jailed for, I believe it was aggravated assault. One of TMZ, aggravated assault conviction. And it's scheduled to get out in 2018. But he has a different name, a last name from the uh, the mother. So it's obviously they weren't married. And we don't know the nature of their relationship. We don't know um, if, if she shared these views or not. Uh, I wish the mother would come out and say like, yeah, I, I, I didn't agree with him on this. I wish she would say that and be able to prove that as well. I'm way down in the comments section. The one I had up earlier, yeah, there's the video. Yeah, we're not going to watch it, though. Uh, I'll leave a link to it down below. But yeah, here's here's the photos of her with the the Confederate flag. Welcome to the Dirty South. Happy 4th. Yeah, see, July 4th. So it was probably just like a patriotic thing. Um, I believe. And yeah, here's where photos of the father. Uh, you can see he's got the uh, the SS thing going on there. Um, the Aryans, all right, image of him and his friends, white supremacist gangs in U.S. prisons. So I'm assuming that's a symbol, well, that's obviously a symbol for white power, white supremacy. And here's the snippets from this. Again, I'm going to leave all these links down below. So if I skip over something or I've missed something, uh, please feel free to correct me and all that other stuff. And then, of course, we have all these uh, GoFundMes that started. And you got one right here. He called me, you know, the N-word, hard R. And, you know, again, it's... It's unsubstantiated claims. There's no proof that he said anything. It's just he said versus what she said, or he said he said what uh, what have you. Um, and then there were people saying, now "This is this is one that it's like uh, somebody's impersonating Keaton Jones to you know do a quick scam grab." But uh, this is the one I really want to draw your attention to, and that's the one where it was fifty five thousand raised for Keaton Jones, and people were saying that it was the mother that uh, made it. However, that is not the case at all. I came across this video on Facebook of Kim Jones and her son, Keaton. Keaton was being bullied at school. This video really touched my heart. I decided to do this GoFundMe to help with this child's future. I know that money may not be the answer for this problem we are facing in communities with bullying. One of my biggest fears as a parent is that my children will be bullied in school. And you can read the rest. Um, we're going to leave a link to this down below. I'm not going to say donate or don't. Do well, you can't donate because it's uh, frozen. Um, so who knows what's going to hap happen to the money. Um, I'm assuming they're just going to refund all the donations. I'm hoping that's what the ends up happening but this was made by a joseph lamb so the gofundme's frozen so i'll leave a link to it down below uh, i'm not going to leave a link to this one down below because nobody should be donating to fake ones but uh, the, the main point i want to convey here is look at this from a skeptical scope look at this from a point where it's like okay a claim was made where's the proof of the claim where's the proof that he was using racial slurs on other kids that's the main point i want to convey here and, you know, that's not to say that these claims could be true. The problem is there's no proof of these claims, and everybody is just jumping on from a subjective standpoint of saying, oh, Confederate flag equals racism. He must be racist. The family must be racist. And I can say with a clear conscience that, yeah, it looks like the father had some racist fucking views, but that doesn't speak for the mother or the kid. And the kid's like 11 years old. He didn't get to choose who his parents were. He didn't get to choose his upbringing. And the same could even be said for the mother. She may have had racist parents that brought her up a certain way, but she doesn't know any better just because she has that thought process engraved into her brain and she can't see anything that's different. The same thing goes for people that view the Confederate flag as only a symbol of racism. And there was a discussion I had with somebody. I'm not going to name drop anybody uh, because this was on a completely different social media platform, but they were equating the Nazi flag um, as, a, as a sort of a gotcha question because it's they asked me um, – would you equate the Nazi – would you say the same thing that you're saying here if it was somebody with a Nazi flag? And I said you're making a false equivalence here because while the, while the Nazi flag is a symbol of racism and hatred and genocide and all that other shit, the Confederate flag isn't necessarily just that. It all depends on the con context behind why they are endorsing this flag and this symbol. And obviously in this family's case, it's looking like it's a patriotic standpoint of we have American pride, we have Southern pride. It's not saying – you know, white power, white supremacy, and all that other dumb shit. So the reason why it was a gotcha question towards me is uh, they brought up, like, you know, the, the, the swastika used to be this uh, religious sex symbol from, like, the Southeast Asia area. I was like, yeah, I know that. But why are you bringing that up? It's like, aha, I got you. I tricked you. And I was speaking more to the context of why she was asking that question because it's obvious she's equating the Nazi flag of the, the Nazis and all that other shit 
to the um, the Southern Pride flag, well, the Southern Pride flag slash racist flag slash KKK flag slash whatever context the flag is being flown in. That's the fucking point. Context fucking matters. And so I explained to this person that it's like, why are you equating these two things? I know what you were trying to pull here with that whole gotcha question. You're trying to expose me as being ignorant to the thing when that's not the case at all, because that's neither here nor there. And in a way, I could turn your argument against you, because if you're trying to bring up that context of what the swastika meant for these religious sects versus what it means for the Nazis, I could say the same damn thing for the Southern Pride and the racist KKK uh, symbolism that it has with it. So the entire point I'm trying to say is don't just believe something because some random schmuck on the internet said so. Because this is an unsubstantiated claim from who the fuck knows who, and suddenly it's blown up everywhere, and everybody is buying into it. It's like, can nobody think for themselves anymore? Can they not think critically? Can they not have an inquisitive mind when it comes to this stuff? It's because you see a claim, okay, where's the proof of this claim? Where is the proof that Keaton was using these racial slurs on other kids? There is none. And until there is, we can neither believe what Keaton is saying, neither can we believe, or not what Keaton is is saying, but what the mother is saying, and neither can we believe these claims, because there's no proof either way. And the mother has come out and said, I'm not racist. Okay, therefore, innocent until proven guilty, which is a concept that doesn't fucking exist anymore, because as soon as something comes out that reinforces people's narrow-minded perspective on the world, suddenly, oh, it must be true. So me, I, I'm, I'm keeping a skeptical mind on the whole thing. Could they be racist? Yeah, it's possible. I don't think they are. At least, from what I've seen, there's little evidence suggesting that they are. So until evidence comes out, we, you, can't not, you can't say that they're racist. That's just a false claim. That's pretty much slander because there's no proof that they're racist. Just because you have a perspective on the flag does not mean you're taking into consideration of the context as to why they were flying the flag. And from what I can observe and assume is that it was all for July 4th, American pride, Southern pride, that type of shit. It was because, oh, yeah, white supremacy, white power. We need to come together now. People want to bring up the father. Well, that's just guilt by association. Just because the mother had a relationship with him and just because he's Keaton's father doesn't mean that the, those two shared the same views that the father did. So, you know, I wish I, I want the mother to come out and say, like, yeah, I, I don't agree with why this happened or not why this happened, but I didn't agree with his views. I didn't agree with that. I still love them because there were parts of them that I liked, or, you know, the negative outweigh or the positive outweighed the negative or just something like that. But again, it's her personal life. We don't necessarily need to get into that. However, it would help. Her defense of herself, but again, it's it's a witch hunt at this point on this on this kid and to the mother. And people were saying that it, uh, that that GoFundMe was a scam or whatever by her to raise money for the kid. No, it's not because it was started by somebody fucking else. And there's accounts that are impostering or impersonating as Keaton to get a quick buck out of a controversial subject and a, uh, a an event that has now gone viral. So that's that's what I'm trying to impart upon you all is that. Keep a skeptical mind. Just because you hear a claim, that doesn't necessarily mean it's fucking true. There needs to be evidence to the claim. You can't just see one thing. You can't just hear what somebody says or read what somebody says and assume it's true when they don't have anything to substantiate the validity of the claim. That's what is really pissing me off about this whole thing. And if evidence comes out that, you know, he was a racist, well, or that uh, the mother was racist, well, that's not necessarily the kid's fault either, now is it? Now, the kid's dropping racial slurs. Should we harass and bully him and, just, you know, sh essentially shame him? Into this, uh, into feeling guilty? No, you should explain to him. You should educate him. You know, you, you don't throw shade at him just because he has He's a fucking 11, 10 year old kid. Okay. If it's his mother that would be at fault, not him. He doesn't know any fucking better because he was brought up a certain way. So I, I don't understand why people are so anti bullying and yet they'll employ bullying tactics in a matter like this. It's just baffling to me, especially when the claim that he's racist and he dropped racial slurs on people is unsubstantiated and is at best a he said, she, she said thing. So, all right, it looks like I got through this a lot quicker. I thought I would. I thought this could be a long video, which I am going to upload another video um, later on today about The Walking Dead and my many issues with it, but that's neither here nor there. This is, let's focus on the topic at hand here, and that is Keaton Jones. So I'm going to leave a link to all these articles and to that GoFundMe down below. Again, the, the GoFundMe is turned off. And any of the other GoFundMes, I'd say stay away from them. Just stay away from them. They're probably fake. Um, unless you yourself know the validity of them, you know who started the GoFundMe, then by all means, do what you do. It's your money. I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. I'm just going to give you advice saying that some of these GoFundMes are fake as shit. So it's all about substantiate, being, um, being aware of which ones are the real, real ones and which one are the fake ones.
So anyway, folks, that's that's just all I have to say about this is just think for yourselves. Don't just because you see something on the internet, don't assume it's automatically true, especially when there's no proof of it. So anyways, have a look up light and I will see you off for whatever video I upload next.